4th of July. We're in the country. I don't recall anybody doing this last year, but I think that maybe they didn't sell fireworks last year because of COVID. Because March, April, May, June, July. Ooh, I think I saw a bat. Huh, you just, I swear that's a bat flying around. As long as I get the bugs, that's fine with me. Oh, somebody ran. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, God. Ah! Shit. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Sorry for swearing, but you're not supposed to be able to do that, are you? These are everyday people. Sorry, I don't normally swear, but that, that scared me. I didn't know that everyday people could set off fireworks like the professionals. You know, the firemen? <laughs> They're the professionals. Oh, come on, a car is going by. Are you kidding me? Oh, God, Jesus, help us all. You can't do that with cars going by. Oh, I had a bad experience when I was a teenager. I had a pack of fireworks. I'm not fireworks, fireworks, but firecrackers go off. Oh, I think they're done. Go off, um, <sighs> at my feet. They somebody lit a, a pack of, a whole pack stuck together of um, firecrackers. And they quickly threw them and we were all gathered together and it just happened to land at my feet and it all <laughs> It all went off. It was so scary. I didn't know that that was allowed. That's crazy. So when it's going to be a big one, they're out in the street and they run. Okay. I'll pause it for a little bit. Oh my goodness, that was scary. Jesus. Oh Lord Jesus. We got rain this week because Lord, I did not know this is there are two houses away, people. I've never been this close to fireworks. That's just oh, I shouldn't be out here, you know why? Because they've been known to shoot sideways into the crowd, and I'm not a crowd by myself. Oh. <laughs> My dad would be laughing at me. He was a big kid, he, he loved fireworks and making all the ruckus and stuff and anything that scared us he, it made him happy oh sat when i see running i know that they're running away from the fireworks i swear if you're gonna do it with cars going by slow down oh lord jesus I pray for the peace of all the animals. Oh, Lord Jesus, I hope people have all their animals caged safely in the house and loving them. And um, and for all the veterans that are hearing all these booms and stuff, Lord, I know that it's... Oh, there's a guy going by on the bike. You probably can't see him. He's like, right there. Watch. He's going to go by. Oh, he already went by. Oh, I would not want to go by with a thing going off. Okay. Oh, this is crazy. Okay, hold on. Taking another break. There's a whole bunch of, like, just regular firecrackers going off. You know, those are okay. I'm used to those. I'm used to sparklers. Um, so let's just see what happens here. There's some through the trees over that way a little bit. Over there's... I see smoke in their yard. Why? They've been lighting it in the street. Okay. Mr. Thumbs Up is inside um, the Cosmo. Okay. This is crazy. I really did not. <laughs> did I tell you already? I did not know you could do this. I guess it's because we live in the country and anything goes. I mean, really, who can do that? Those are real fireworks. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Are my neighbors on the porch? 
You must be laughing at me. I don't know. Oh, that didn't get off the ground very well. I guess it wasn't supposed to. <laughs> and if it was, oh well. Look at it. That's pretty. I can handle that. Oops. Another boomerang. Is. Oh, there's a way. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe I've never been so close. This is in my front yard, basically. Look at that. Oh, I love those. Oh, I love those. Oh, I love those. Either. The guy is out in the street in the park. Oh, look at that. I don't know. It's just very different when it's close to your house like that. Woo! They lit him out in the street and cars were going by. Now they're over there laughing. <laughs> I wouldn't want to go by with a car. All these peoples. Oh my goodness, it's scary. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what, being in the country is different because in town, you know, oh, I can smell stuff. Oh, I got them. I got them. <laughs> I got fireworks everywhere. It's crazy. There's like, you can't even see my finger. But, um,. Two houses over, and then further down over, and then across the street. Then across the street, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six places right around us. And normally I don't care for the fireworks and stuff because my mom passed away during the fireworks. Not from fireworks, but she was... She had pancreatic cancer, and she passed away on 4th of July when we were at the fireworks. And um, I was in South Carolina. My mom was in Massachusetts. So the fireworks have, you know, been nothing I've been liking or caring about going out or anything. But we're in a new house, new location and new happenings. I mean, this is just like craziness. Do, do you see, let me see if you can see where they're, they're running and lighting stuff. You can't, it's dark. Oh, wow. Oh, wait for the cars to go by. Oh, please everybody stay safe. That's all you have to do is light it in the street and people coming by? No. Everybody stay safe. Everybody be safe. Safe decisions. There they are across the street. That's another one. That's like in a new um, area that people move to and build houses. They're, they're, they're building up in the country and people that have been here for 40 years are not happy with the development. But we didn't have this house built. We, we had one family before us that lived in this brand new house for two years. So it's not like we, you know, build them and they will come. It was already here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, I'd be as scared too if you drive by hesitation. <laughs> Now I gotta get three people going on at the same time. These are three different yards, y'all. That's a pasta street. <sighs> no, Lord, keep the people safe in the cars. Well, and on, on the ground too, lighting the fireworks. But, I found out 
years ago that I had some hearing loss. And I couldn't, they said, like, have you worked around loud machinery for years now? And I said, no. And I was like, what, 20, 20, 20, 22. I was 22. And I was messing up all the messages on the phone. I was, um, I was assistant secretary for a home improvement company. And... I'd write down the messages from my boss and he'd say, um, you need to go get your hearing checked because you're getting all the messages wrong. I felt so embarrassed. And then I did and they said that I had the hearing loss of working around loud machinery. And I said, no. And so I thought that, you know, it was just a fluke or something. Well, come to find out later on when I was thinking about it, I realized about the 4th of July and the fireworks that were set off at my feet. So, yeah. And now that I'm older, I have more hearing loss. It's not fun. And you know what? Hearing loss doesn't mean that you don't hear anything. Let me tell you something. Oh, you hear fine and dandy. You just don't hear the right words. I I didn't tell my husband. I go, did you just say blah, 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 blah? And he goes, no. I was like, well, that's exactly what I... So that's the strange thing that I learned about in a year, a little over a year and a half ago. I got my hearing tested again here because I've been cranking up the um, TV and Mr. Thumbs Up is like, honey, you're killing me here. I can't sit and watch TV with you anymore. So I went and got it checked. And yes, I have mild to... um,